Welcome to the Motus Podcast. Welcome to the Motus Podcast. Podcast. Welcome to the Motus Podcast. Podcast. Welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to the Motus Podcast. Welcome everybody. I'm actually going to welcome you today because we realise that Giles hogs the microphone. And even if I want to talk, he just shoves me out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, today... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know we were going to actually just oh, announce really? that. But it oh, was, okay. a, it was a conversation. I we, I, I did realise <laughs> when I was editing the Instagram cuts for the last one. I'm doing it already. Yeah, you've done it already. I was editing the Instagram cuts, and I was desperately trying to bit find a bit that wasn't me talking. That's so right, I was like, just... Keelan, you need to, you know, your brain's a lot bigger than mine. You have a lot of things you need to say. Mine's kind of like small and. I'm quite easy going, and you're not very easy going. You got a big head, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Today we're actually going to talk about. Hold, hold the phone. I think we need to just appreciate what we just heard there. Oh, oh, really? Uh, well, I feel like it needs to be noted, oh. and maybe even voted upon. Personally, I mean, we've had a few submissions, right? Well, it's whether or not they've heard all of them, whether you've edited that in. I or think I'm going to put one. all of them in. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys can <laughs> let us know which one you liked best, or please make more. I think people should make one every single time we finish a podcast we get, get on a new one every time yeah yeah we're still looking for that guitar driven like heavy one we've yeah. had dms emails and and everything carrier pigeons with fucking <laughs> xylophones attached to them playing music they've all been worse than like so much worse than i thought well In we wanted we, yeah <laughs> we wanted them to be bad but fucking hell yeah. like I like the beatbox one. That was quite impressive. The beatbox one? Is there a beatbox one? Yeah, I don't think I've actually played that to oh, you, wow. but I will edit it in at the start. Oh, brilliant. Um, but yes, <clears throat> oh, I'm choking. I'm dying. you got peanuts stuck in your throat. Yeah, thank you. Not peanuts, not penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah thank, thank you for those submissions. If you didn't submit, then you failed. And um, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to Keelan, back to your real host. I'm Giles, by the way. Yeah, and I'm I'm Keelan Ryan. If this is the first time you're watching, welcome. There is many more podcasts. Have we done three now? Is this fourth? This is fourth. And this you said fourth. watching again, but actually the amount of messages oh. I've had of people going, oh, I just watched the latest podcast. Oh, like, that's my fault. I'm sorry. And there we some, go. That's small brain, but big hair. Somebody responded saying, I've watched the, the, the progress bar move across the thing for the entire hour. That's the same thing. Like, you're like, going to watch enough. something. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if to crack straight on with the with the topic of this video because I'm quite excited about it. Uh, yeah, and uh, this was definitely a topic that was. Can you can you lower the table a little bit? Oh, for fuck's sake! Listen to this. There we go. That's all right. <laughs> I've got a standing desk and it's like full height is a little. I'm I'm not very tall, so mm. I'm trying to. Yeah, my hips are high and my elbows are comfy when it's high. Yeah, up. yeah. Um, but yeah, well, should we should we crack on? Uh, unless there's anything else to talk about. I mean, what's happened today? Just uh, editing, really. Keenan's been working on spitting in the wind action. Yeah, we've got weird. If, we got, if, if it, hello, if no one knows what we're doing, we're actually re-uploading some of the footage from the America tour. I'm fully editing it. It's probably going to be around. I'm going to call half an, hour? half an hour, maybe longer, maybe shorter. I think we gassed it up quite a lot in the first episode of this, didn't we? Yeah, but it, it's it's just full action. So literally half a half an hour of some of the best parkour training ever. Yeah. Um, but uh, and I don't think it'll be too old because I don't I don't think people go back and watch the series over and over again because it's not something that I mean they, you can but that's what we were talking about today is that like it's it's harder to go back and just watch the action bits of like fifteen minute long episodes yeah. when there's a lot of talking and things so we realised it kind of deserves its own it's mm-hmm. basically like yeah it's a half an hour long epic of just just bangers after bangers after bang and some a lot of unseen funny bits as well yeah so. yeah and it's getting there it's taking shape so I, I don't know when exactly it's, it'll be out it's just premiere i'm not a fan of premiere it keeps closing on me yeah my final cut boy yeah i mean i think it's more of a fan that uh, more of a fact that your laptop's my laptop dying. is shit but you had a shit one for a while very true yeah yeah that's brilliant um uh, uh what was the are we uh, jumping in i mean i guess we are trying to do these as we said before, on a on a fairly topic based thing for the time mm. being, I think we're going to establish establish a format, and then I think I mean if something does happen, like I don't know, David Bell fucks a bomber or something like that, then then we'll probably speak about that in fairly sort of <laughs> current current <laughs> terms. I just didn't realise what you just made up. <laughs> but but what we've got we've been we've been talking about some stuff that we want to we want to talk about. 
you mm. Keelan definitely has been sort of pushing pushing for this one. Um, yeah. I think it's uh, an, inter- an interesting debate that honestly I don't know how much we've seen. I don't know this is similar to try uh, similar to the conversation of parkour versus free running. I feel nah, like. I don't think it is. No, I think it is. Do you I think? think it is. Yeah. No, because 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 I mean, let's get let, so what what? Yeah, is but the there's no no one's go- you're not going to get to the bottom of the skill or style. This is what this is about. Not the competition. It's not. And not dress sense either. And not dress sense. But it's the same with parkour. You can't get down to the bottom of it. No one, like, oh, no, yes. Yeah. So you can't get to the bottom of it. That's what I mean. But it's not... Oh, it's not the same scenario. Yeah, it's, not, it's, like, it's, it's not like style is free running and skill is it's parkour. It's just this is always going to be opinion. And I feel like this sport is always going to be opinion. Everything about this well, sport. Well, I mean, you really. put more than one person in a room and there's opinions. Yeah. So I think, like, I think it's healthy, really. But it's but, an interesting debate that I'd never really thought hugely about. Until you started bringing it up. I think only because I'm addicted to YouTube and watching parkour videos that... Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite videos. <laughs> Fuck Fortnite. I hate Fortnite. It's all about PUBG. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I think because I've watched so many parkour YouTube videos, I understand what I like and dislike about watching people's movement. And it kind of sways how I train. Yeah. So I'm going to... Like, I'd say I'd gravitate more to someone who has really nice style and control over someone who can do crazy skillful tricks and jumps with less style and when i say less style i feel like i'm I'm talking about sketchiness yeah 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 of course i think i think so i mean yeah so just to just to clarify the debate is skill versus style and yeah not we're not talking about the competition formats or dress sense is skill more important than style or is style more important? we are talking is it better to be able to do a 12 foot kong pre I mean, the the thing that I think is very... It, like, if you can do a 12-foot Kong Pri, mm-hmm. Cat Pri, whatever you want to call it, yeah, you've obviously got... I mean, you're going to be... I feel like... You, well, for the most part, I feel like you're going to be fairly good looking in terms of your movement anyway, because I think with skill comes um, a, a level of technique and kind of... Control. Control, not like aerial... Uh, not 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 streamlinedness, but do you know what I mean? Like not like it's rare that mean- you meet someone who can throw themselves that far or do like especially things like lache prees, like huge lachets. Unless that person is almost dying, if you're doing big boy lache prees, you're gonna yeah. have fairly decent technique, and therefore yeah. I think in the air it's gonna look fairly good. I just think there's a lot of people who do, let's say like a massive running pre. <clears throat> no, actually, let's go back to the kong pre. So you've got someone who does. Uh, a 12 should we say 12 how I mean, 12 is doing... massive yeah <laughs> but let's say like a kong pri that is level on each side so it's not a downwards kong pri, let's so... say let's say let's say what eight foot yeah eight's like as an eight as in eight eight foot across eight people's feet I, I mean my feet thankfully my feet are pretty much when i wear a pair of trainers are pretty much bang on a foot which is really <laughs> it's really useful um eight 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 real feet yeah, which is like okay. imax two i think is about seven and a half Ev- everyone who's what listening oh, fucking i'm gonna punch myself everyone who's listening to this podcast should know about like measuring IMAX. with their feet yeah, yeah. I, that, that's I what i mean you're not meant to do but everyone does kind of thing yeah, i think it's a good thing I, i'd do it uh i can see why it's not a good thing because you should be able to if you can't go down to the ground and measure with your feet because yeah. ideally you're obviously like oh i'm running uh, away from a bear and i can't do quickly stop and measure it like it's my, true i you guess you gotta so. be able to know with your brain yeah but it's nice because then you can relate to other and you can go to another spot and be like okay well that one was yeah. eight fit and this one's seven and a half but the walls are a little bit more slippery so <laughs> yeah i know what you mean um i yeah, do so it there's... far too fucking much <laughs> yeah i i don't do it that much but i just like when you're trying to explain something it's easier to yeah, say. yeah like yeah. like right now yeah we're going back to the kong yeah, so eight, eight, eight foot, foot kong brie. flat to i mean same height walls on each side level level yeah and then there's two people who can do this kong Pri and stick it yeah i feel like they can still one can be more skillful than the other even if they have the same skill range i'm trying to I, it's, trying it's to a hard one because in that scenario right i feel like whoever yeah. does it and it looks nicer is probably they're probably going to be the better athlete anyway yeah because, because in, a, in a quite because that's a very essentially mm. in, in this argument that's a very basic way to measure it yeah and therefore you're like well who did it nicer who did it with better technique technically that's more skill but, but what if it was the more guy, aesthetic there's a guy who does the kong pre and he's got you know when you get this sort of what do you call that yeah, they're like spangly, ar- spangly oh, like arms. Spangly architects, like where you, it's an old, old Laurie and Andy saying where you, where architects is where like 
your head almost in between your knees. You know, yeah, you're, so lean, you're, you're leaning you're forward. You're leaning too forward, much. your head's between your knees. It's one of those Kung Fu's, your, your and you're arms. Like, oh, I fucked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Your arms are behind you. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if you do that every time on a Kung Fu, but your Kung Fu's are way bigger than this eight foot one, yeah, there's a guy next to you doing the same Kung Fu. He can't Kung Fu further than you, but he's doing, and his chest is nice. Like, it's, it's far yeah. back. Like, I'm going to prefer to watch that guy's movement. Of course, no matter. of course. Yeah, yeah. And I think the majority, I think, and I think that's fairly given. Because I yeah. think that's, this is where this argument can never really be settled because exactly, it's very yeah. it's situational. But then there's, like, things that aren't judged like that. So I, I don't want to name drop athletes that I don't like the style of. But there's people who look too Do perfect. It. Do it. See, this is a weird one. What do you mean by this? Like, they... they I can tell they try to look perfect in the air. Like when they do running pre's, they really straighten their legs legs out and they come into a nice. I name some fucking names. It's not a bad thing if somebody looks too perfect. No, it's not. A, it's name not some a, names because I'm. I need examples here. Uh, so let's say I dip in and out of this. Like I think Andy, Andy, wall, 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 wall. Andy Will, as in from Ashigaru, Ashigaru. yeah. I think loads of his shit looks fucking sick. Yeah, I mean, but I sometimes I, I, I feel like it's almost too perfect. See, there's, I think there's not like there's not much. Uh, it looks quite like blocky. Only on I, certain. I kind of know what you mean. I think I. Th- and I'm not. I'm not trying to like shit on him because I do watch his movie. No, I mean, quite I, a lot, it's, but it's hard I, to when say you're, you're too to... perfect and shit on somebody at the same time. Like. Yeah, but it it, it just doesn't. It, it looks too sort of form acid. Is that the right word? Yeah. So, yeah, and I guess I... I it's weird because I was about to go like, well, I guess that's kind of... He's got more skill than style, but that's this whole argument, isn't it? Like, yeah. he is but that's, that's incredibly with... skilled. Yeah, but this is... Incredibly skilled, but maybe his... Whereas mm. um, uh, uh, Matthias Mayer... Yeah. Another Ashigaru Yeah, guy. so that's what I'm saying. He's complete... Matthias is in Ashigaru, right? Yes. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. But he's on the complete different side. I mean, when you put them side by side... I don't know who I prefer because there's things that Matthias do that does that I'm like, oh, I'm not sure whether I liked how you did that. Yeah. And then there's other things where I'm like, wow, that was really nice. Yeah, yeah. But I think and that's the same with Andy. Yeah. It's, 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 I think every athlete is going to have yeah. their spectrum, aren't they? Um, but it is, it's a really interesting debate. But also at the same time, it's like, does it even need to be debated? Not really. But I also, think, I, but it's fun to debate. I it's think. fun because Cause it's, I think it's, it's, Sorry, I'm speaking over you. Look yeah, at that. Keelan's like Ugh. bastard, and then you'd like take the words out of my mouth, so then I don't have anything to say. No, but uh, yeah, I, I I just I like debating it because personally, I do favour style style over skill generally. Well, so I where I found this thing really interesting was when you made this comparison to skateboarding, and I I think we've gone over in the past one. Like, mm-hmm. I watch a bit of skating here and there, but I'm not some skate head like thing and no. what totally blew my mind that keelan told me recently and then i saw kind of just on instagram some comments about some i can't remember what it was some posts or something that skaters people can quad kickflip right oh yeah people can thing, triple sorry. kickflip skaters will prefer to see a single kickflip let's say you've got an eight set of stairs yeah eight foot eight eight set whatever you've got an eight set of stairs skaters generally in this day and age will prefer 100% like fucking the comments yeah. I saw everyone is like they will prefer to see somebody cleanly single kickflip down a stair set than a triple kickflip mm. and granted if it's a shit triple kickflip and the guy is like spangling it and catching it, it by luck it then is obviously... so hard for us to tell as well with yeah, their... yeah, yeah I can't tell really that much with someone riding a bike like a, a BMX bike I can't tell who's got the nicest style with that I can kind of tell with skateboarding but I feel like a lot of people won't be able to tell because it's like... But so here's, tri- here's like, skateboarder does a triple kickflip and it's like spangly. Like he's only, yeah. he, he's made it out of pure luck rather than those like street skaters you see who are like, they're consistent. Like he could always... Yeah. Tri- Surely the guy who is consistently triple kickflipping the stair set is just simply more aesthetic and like cooler to watch than a single. I reckon obviously yeah. a single's gonna feel amazing. A single's gonna feel floaty and controlled and like I can totally get the appreciate like a really beautiful single cork. Yes. But if somebody's doing fucking amazing triple kickflip, I'm like, well sh- that and that's my head with skating. Mm. And so that's where I find this really interesting because the entire skate community from what I see is like die hard on this like fuck anything more than a trip uh, anything more than a single but i think you can relate that to i don't really like watching people do double flips that much like i don't like watching it like i i i 
I'd much prefer to see someone flow for a spot. Like you can bring this down to, and this is a hundred percent with skaters and free runners. For me, it's what uh, what the athlete does at the spot, like how he chooses course, to use the spot. Like, I mean, we can we can both agree here that I think Benj Cave is one of those like standout guys, and especially in the last couple of years, I think so many people are like, I really like Benj's style. <coughs> yeah, like, yeah, I his... think the way he uses the spot is so different, <coughs> even though it is just kind of parkour. It looks quite. Uh, normal i'd say but yeah he somehow like he finds like tic tacs i really like the amount of tic tac tic tacs he does and weird line changes and floatiness yeah. and like but he just makes everything look cool even if it's not that difficult but also i think he also makes difficult stuff look really easy and it's the yes. type of thing that like you could go to one of these spots and you're like oh all he did was like a speed step into a reverse vault or something yeah and you go there and you're like, doing... how the fuck do you do that exactly plus all the other shit he did at the start and end of that line um that's a really really good example of like I would prefer to see that than Benj just doing like, oh, I'm going to do Kong Pri into a double cork. Yeah. But then again, that's not Benj's style. So, mm. because I think where I stand quite firmly is like, if I, I the, the, and where I think the differentiation in parkour and, and skateboarding is, is that it's so, 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 so much harder to do a kickflip compared to a cork. Do you know what I mean? It, like consistently consistently, consistently. And, but I, I thought this yes but then when you see people who are like pros they can kick flip pretty much every time it yeah, depends yeah, yeah. when it's off the, when but it's who a certain are pros, spot who are yeah, pros exactly how many fucking how many 12 year olds you know cork, who can single exactly cork? but there i feel like the learning process does actually take longer to be able to learn how to cork if you think from scratch if you had a board and you like but, consistently but, for a month how you I, I, this is but the thing. this is learning this isn't getting it knuckled down right yeah i think it's easier to learn a move in oh wait wait i think it's you you can land a move quicker in parkour yeah um i don't know wait but sure and, no, and then I think... skate, no i think you can i mean fuck what do i mean skating is fucking hard yeah basically i don't think anyone could ever argue like oh skateboarders who well this is where i stand skateboarders or you do a single uh kickflip is the same as doing a single cork therefore we should all start doing single corks mm. like for the most part i feel like if you are going for a line of like showing off your skill yeah if you're doing like a step down to cork and there is the potential to double it the person who let's say there's two people and one guy doubles it and one guy singles it i'm like well the the doubles a better yeah, line d- i i'd say the doubles the better line unless it is someone who oh, if doubles it's a scatty double if it's a scat, du- scatty double and also if it's i don't like people who repeat themselves a lot in line someone who would always do a double cork oh and yeah it's like well, this George is going is back a really to, good example this is going back to how they use the spot it's like oh i kind of expected you to do that at this spot yeah i'd prefer to see something that i don't expect even if it isn't as high skill level as that if it's something that makes me think and i'm like oh i didn't think about doing that oh uh, yeah i do like it when people turn shit on their head and yeah you, you're almost expecting it and then you're like oh fuck mm what i wanted to just say about george is i think george was like two years ago mm-hmm. when george was kind of on the the come up and he was known as like yeah. the double on flat guy he was like moving towards the direction of everyone thinking he was just like all he did was doubles but i think he was so aware of that he then like he pulled so hard back from it and for a good period of time he like yeah. was rarely putting out anything with like his standard kind of back full back full back full back, yeah like double or whatever and he can still do that shit and he will but he relies on it, I think, a lot less than people think, um, which is nice mm. because he, yeah, he he can do so much more than that. And the last thing I would want him to do is like fall into that hole. Yeah, but I think so. What I was just gonna say is, let's. I mean, let's say you take the same athlete, mm-hmm. and in one run they do everything super clean, and they they do a single cork, and then they do the second run, same same stuff, still super clean, and they do a double cork. And the double cork is just as clean as the first cork. Yeah. Surely the double is better. Yes. In my head, I'm like, well, I because I think I think. I, but that's that's like, start. He's got style anyway. Like he's. Well, and this is where I think this this debate is never really solvable. Exactly. Because, because now now that's not skill versus style. Because the second one was as stylish as the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it it's it's really difficult. It's really to, tough. It's super tough. I can. You can only kind of explain it 
through. It's well, very know, situational. It's, but also, I feel like opinions change over time. Someone's not always going to be uh, kind of name dropped as not hasn't got a good style. Oh, I people, think people fucking get better and better. Yeah, but but not only that, someone like uh, let's say Alfred Scott, right? Yep. When he first started doing his shit and it was popping up on the internet, yep. I first saw it and I was like. I really like watching it because the skill was amazing. But, but it was I was kind like, of this lanky guy? But now when I w- look back at it, I'm like, I fucking love that you're lanky. I love that style because but what, it's so... the original clips that you saw where you yeah, thought he this, was scatty? Yeah, the same clips. Uh, okay. I rewatched it recently and it's like, I think it's so unique. I'd, I'd much rather see that than kind of a copy and pasted springy style because I have seen quite a lot of that. Yeah, in the past. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just nice seeing someone with a completely different... Well, I, I'm, I mean, I guess it's like... It's you, same... You, you know what? Like, sorry. Go on then. You fucking dickhead speaking <laughs> of me. You always do it to me. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> no, I guess, I guess it's, I mean, it's like anything, like a song, like a person. You become kind of almost more attracted to things that you didn't necessarily see on first glance. Yeah. So I guess with Alfred or something, it's like, yeah, on first glance, you're probably more like, whoa, this guy's kind of tall and oh my God, he almost took his head off doing that yeah. gargoyle gainer things. And then after a while, you kind of start to notice and appreciate the, the like, yeah. But I also just think it, it does look cool. Like not, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. just looking at the skill. I'm looking at how he moves and like, oh, that's sick. There was a line Alfred did at Art Emotion a couple of years ago. The one where he did um, Dash Gainer, like sitting Dash Gainer. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell, phone's on silent, mate. Come yeah, on that's, that's appalling. You know, the, is it Dash Gainer when you sit on a ledge? What? And then, what? So he sat on the like, what, the do you roof. mean on a rail Dash Gainer? It was, like it was a flat roof. It was like this desk. And, and he, he Dash Gainered off Well, he it. sat and then he kicked his legs out and Gainered. Yeah, that's fucked up. And he up. did it mid-run and he said it all the way through the preps. He was like, I wa- I'm not going to be happy. Because it's when his first attempts, I was watching him and he would mm. sit there and he'd sit there for like 30 seconds just swinging his legs, just swinging and like gassing himself up and like freaking out over it. Yeah. And he was like, I'm not going to be happy unless I can do it first kick. So I, he sits down, swings his legs under the roof and then straight away kicks them back into it. And in the run, I was like just waiting, and I can't, I can't remember what his run had at the start of it. It was like a few complex things, but that was like that was where the, the intensity hitter, got right? leveled up. Yeah. Um, because I knew what was coming. I remember watching it, and it was like he got every. It, well, it felt like he got every step perfect. Yeah. And like even before he like sat down, I kind of almost like inside was like, here it comes, mm. because it was just like. In his like gangly way or whatever, oh, it's so sick. It, like, it looks cool, right? Yeah, it's... yeah. And he's he then sat down and he swings his legs underneath and just like popped it and his head. Oh, I fucking... so he did get it. He oh got yeah, the yeah, he got it. Yeah, and it that's was so cool. sick. You can probably find it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but it was yeah, and that was a prime example where like maybe the first time if you watch that run, you wouldn't be. I mean, the, I think that dash game is always going to be insanely impressive. Yeah. But you might be like, oh, Alfred's aesthetic or whatever. But like, oh, I was so, I was so sick. Yeah. One of my favorite things to watch. But that's the thing with skinny, the skinniest sort of athletes. I like watching them more than this kind of the people who are really bulky doing parkour. I don't know what it is, but you know when someone's like quite muscly. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. For me, it doesn't really sit as you know, well as people like. I quite like watching people from Try Hard, Lee, you know, Lieb. Yeah, yeah, Aiden yeah. Lieb and um, Elijah because some form of their. They they all they're all really skinny, right? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah, when yeah. they land, it's almost like they they don't. This sounds really cheesy. Like they don't care. They sort of like landed and they're kind of like floppy on themselves. And it looks yeah yeah. It yeah, looks yeah. like they don't have to try. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I that, try try hard. Don't have to try. Yeah. <laughs> but it, <laughs> it looks like they're asleep while doing it. They don't have to. That's the wrong. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I mean, they, they are look, all fucking high, aren't they? So I mean, the are we, a, 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 a group of guys called THC. Are we going to assume they're all high? Oh no, probably not. To no, 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 no. Um, I don't know if kids. saying they all look like they're asleep is. No, that's the wrong, the wrong sort. But of, they're uh, chilled. It's like relaxed. Yeah. But at the same time, I think that's like complacency within your movement. Like it's mm. like control in a way. Um, because I mean, we were talking about that. Marks, Marks doing cast full off the tree. Yeah, I'll and he lands. Like that. And I mean, that's there's no, there's no sort of like this. Or but I, th- but he's he's a no chunky. Stumble. He's like a bulky guy. But I guess yeah. that's kind of the other side of things. I mean, Marks has crazy style anyway, in his own weird way, because mm-hmm. he's definitely a skill guy. Like, I don't think everything he does looks beautiful, but he somehow developed this this skill, this style that is like power and control. Like yeah. when he does those like round off 180 dive kong things and it's like his body is just like machine <laughs> yeah. like, like it's that. mad but 
like the landing on his swing cast full. He just absorbs, right? yeah, yeah. And I know this is a good sort of way of landing this. He is bulky. He could have landed it as well as he did, so without touching his hands. Yeah. But he could have done like a sort of, uh, he holds his hands up or he makes him himself look like he's trying to But balance. I think that's just like, he knows exactly where is he. Exactly. Like there's so no it, disorientation. So that's why I think the style looks sick. Yeah. Because he, he looks so comfortable. He lands and his arms are already by, him side, by his side because he knows he's he landed He lands it. like I've just jumped off a two foot ledge. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, and whatever. he lands, yeah, it's like a whatever thing. Yeah, I think yeah, the whatever yeah. thing is really cool. Yeah. Whereas someone who well, finishes I'm, a line, this is why I'm trying to, I'm trying to move past this, the, I guess it's the Max Barker stick. I don't think Max even like always sticks like this nowadays. Even Kai was, Oh my uh, God, chatted. I've just remembered that debate that I have to put on the podcast in a second. Okay. Do not let me forget. Okay. I won't let you the, forget. You know what I mean? But, no. Oh, okay. But do you remember, I don't know when it was, Kai was, I think it might have been at NAPC. He was like, why do you always stick things and you look like you're praying? You know, like when uh, you put your hands like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. for a while, I thought that was cool because it looks like you're like, oh, I stuck it really nicely and your hands are here out of the way. But now when I watch it, I'm like, oh, it looks weird. And I feel like... Well, it's it's like the looks absolute... like you're putting in lots of effort. Uh, lots effort. of effort it's like he's absolutely confirming to himself that it's stuck yes that's it and even phil doyle he messages that was it i think he it was messaged phil max who said that yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah. doing the standing free next to your house yeah your house the spot and he was like i don't know all right max you don't have to stay there all day like we well, you know you stuck it. it and then he put up a post of him like doing a pre and standing there for like fucking 20 seconds yeah. <laughs> but um it's a weird one because like i also think if you go to the other end of that spectrum and you mm-hmm. do like what what people refer to as the american stick where you basically land on the wall your feet are ro- <laughs> rolling off it and you're like yeah that was a stick yeah, bro see, that's and not, then you step off not right but, it's the balance like but i think the way going back to benja's style if you see how he because i i don't know why i'm analyzing oh, but i mean shit. their latest video but when, when he's doing the rail priest yeah. he's doing the max barker stick i don't think he is okay maybe he's i didn't up, analyze I mean, it that yeah, closely yeah. but i mean he's when he sticks think there's certain sticks that he does because i'll notice them and he's already his hands will be like Obviously, balance. Well, like Callum on the roof. But he, yeah, like, I guess so. But they, I think they put their arms away before they've, like. Yeah, maybe Max does really accentuate it. But I I like. I don't think Max does it that much anymore because I feel like me and Max, I don't know if we have talked about it. I think we did. Uh, But I think it's caught on. There's a lot of people who do stick things like that. I like, I, I do like, within reason, the emphasis of the stick because I think it's a good. Because I think. They definitely, you definitely shouldn't get off the object. You definitely shouldn't get off the object early. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I it doesn't think, count. I think for like a, a, a muggle, and I've kind of I've said before, I've, I don't know if I like that term, but it's so easy to yeah, use, isn't it. it? Yeah. It's, I mean, I've done it, even when you're like out training or somewhere and you do a precision, and I feel like they're almost looking, if somebody's watching you, yeah. they're maybe thinking like, why has he stopped kind of thing? And yeah. just by like, sort of just just putting a little bit of like internal emphasis on the like like it's a satisfaction point yeah, isn't it yeah. like you're doing it for yourself but i feel like also for the clip or for the outside it's showing the viewer fuck this is weird because then i guess you're thinking about the viewer but i think i think it at the end of the day it's solidifying it with yourself that yeah. you've stuck it and then because you want to you want to basically minimize that balance especially on a rail mm-hmm. sometimes you'll be like dink and you'll yeah. be like oh 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 and yeah okay that's yeah like that. yeah um because I think there's also oh. people who stick rail prees, right? And I notice it because I know exactly when you haven't stuck it. All you people out there who they land, they get up just because they're balanced for a few seconds and they stand. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I know you you're know. tilting forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it because I have the amount of times I have to redo rail prees, and you hear people like, yeah, like say if they've watched you do it, they're like, yeah, yeah, and you yeah, get yeah, off yeah, and you're yeah. Like, No, I didn't stick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not happy. It's the it's the you go into stick form the max stick I guess yeah you stand up too early and, and then you can feel it and you'll be like oh that counts and you're like no it fucking doesn't yeah exactly you got a little bit of your soul dies but you don't tell anyone because you're like oh, <laughs> yeah. got, they've already been standing there filming for twenty minutes yeah the clip. but also I think caring about your style is a good thing uh, because good technique also comes no style also comes with good technique I feel like yeah I think bit. I think at the end of the day like it's a sort of you're never gonna get an answer but i think generally good style will come with good technique and it's because mm-hmm. it's confidence like benj will like flow through an area with like absolute confidence yeah um I, I, so uh, yeah there's loads of factors because there's also like body type because like i mean callum yeah. will flow through an area with absolute confidence but he's built so differently to benj that even those two doing the same line will look distinctly different yeah and 
I don't know if I would necessarily always prefer Benji's. Depends on the style of movement. Because yeah. when Callum's on form and he's in a spot that works well for him, like he's one of the fucking best people to watch. Yeah. Because he just looks... Is sick. He looks like absolute... I don't want to say perfection because that's like a bit like... Oh, but <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's like... That's how it should look in a way. Mm. Um, but I also don't like watching... Th- and not shitting on Callum now, it's just because I'm thinking of it. Uh, I don't like watching just plyos and and things do you know what i mean um but then that comes with like training plyos is fucking fun but from an audience no nah, i I, mean, I don't really like what i don't really like watching like a running pre or a plyo if it's in a line then i think it's sick it, d- it really depends on the circumstances oh, of so, that running pre. Yeah, that's the thing because some so running pre's just look so boring and i know maybe like when it was filmed and if you were there that's like oh my gosh that's fucking sick i didn't realize you were so basic you're like oh, <laughs> it's boring no i'm i know you'd be I, basic I, to be like i love big running priests no, i love I know, big I know double what, kongs i know what you mean yeah, yeah i do know what you mean but i like um if if it's sizable yeah and it's like clearly an interesting setup or something i mean like a lot of the stuff callum does for example but then i'm never going to complain watching callum do no exactly because i think you can you can tell but then that's because we feel. know because i've seen so much of callum and I, and I expect it from Callum. I think it's sick because I'm like, I know that that was like difficult and I know that that was like it's, yeah, a it's, hard it's challenge. It's the appreciation of like the physical. Whereas feats. if I'm scrolling for Instagram and I've seen someone I haven't like seen, I'm watching someone I've never heard of before and I see a running pre, most likely I'm not going to know the spot as well. I'll be like, yeah, yeah I mean, and I'll maybe, scroll past. Maybe that comes into it. Yeah. Which is but, sad because they could have, they could have doubled the one that there Callum There are so did. many I different doubt things. It, but, <laughs> it's like, yeah, because it's like skill style and then it's like, well, Who's the athlete? What's their body type? How skilled are they? What How are they was it wearing? Filmed? How was it filmed? How was it filmed? <laughs> what are they doing in the area? Are they doing something new? Like, it's a fucking spectrum, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I, I need to remember this thing because it's a crazy debate and I reckon it'll set some minds alight. Yeah, well, this thing that you are going to But say. I just want to say, Bart is a really interesting one for me mm-hmm. because Bart is immensely talented, super powerful, super strong. Sometimes I fucking love the way he moves yeah and then other times sometimes i find he's a bit like uh, no not scatty scatty sounds like bad but like i think i know what you mean sometimes he's like uh, i don't know it's it's really hard so there's just sometimes i see a line from him Mm. and it's obviously physically impressive and it's still cool i'm not like oh that was shit like i'll never i mean yeah not not even like that at all sometimes i just don't think it looks like as good as bart can make it look yeah that's like, like, that's so vague, but he's so, you know something like Benj typically, mm-hmm. but maybe it's just what people upload. This yeah. is another thing. Oh uh, yeah, because because like Benj, you I feel like everything you see of him is is for the most part like. I, oh, why was I going to say lush? Jesus Christ! <laughs> so no, I saw, yeah. I saw a video of somebody saying lush the other day, and I was like, why did you use that no, word? It's a fucking weird word. Yes. And I reckon that's because Benj is just genuinely, is that the right word? Genuinely or generally? Genu- gen- genuinely like that without be, without being on camera. And I Whereas think, someone also, could take loads of attempts to make it look as stylish as possible and you meet up with them and train with them and you'd be like, well, you are way sketchier than also, I thought. Also, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. definitely a thing. I think there's, there is not just like hunting for the stick, but there's hunting for the way the line feels. Because if you're doing yeah. a fairly longish, complex line, you're not hunting for the final move you are hunting for like, I want every step to feel good. Mm. And I feel like someone like Benj is really good at not only probably getting that done fairly quickly, but also um, like he'll, he'll hunt for that. He'll be Mm. like, cool. No, that didn't feel good. I want to go again. Like I want to get these steps feeling good. And I think, I I think he knows where a stick is needed to. I don't like it when people stick everything, stick everything. And it's like, you could have either carried that on or even, well, I mean, what do you get? You get stick or a front out. That's your two options. (laughs) <laughs> that was a joke that was, <laughs> you took that I, so I, I did and I, I, I was second. literally about to put you on the spot there. Um, <laughs> yeah but even, I don't even I don't think I've seen a front out in a what I think I can only watch Callum front out of a running pre George says no okay there we go that's George. when George pops one of his little poppy yeah, that's ones it. I love them but Callum's is close to that I'd say Cal- Callum, I don't see Callum do like many a, flips. It's a totally different style. But, yeah, but he but has a, the tiny little bit of pop when he yeah, like yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, but it's really nice. Davis did a good one actually. No, Nickel Tees, Nickel Tees the other day. Nickel Tees. I think yesterday I did like it. a roof gap up and like nice popped out front flip. Yeah. 
Because um, I just find those they're so hard to get right out of a running free. I can never make mine wicked, look good. Wicked like, easy to make them look shit. That's for sure. <laughs> like you slap your feet, you skid about, or like, you land, you land, and just before you do the uh, the front flip, your arms come up. And, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Instead yeah. of just bouncing into. Oh, Robbie's quite good at them as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is a few people, but yeah. still, it's it's. it's but just difficult. to clarify, it, it, it's yeah, it's 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 a stick or a front out. That's all you get. <laughs> the best actually are the old stick. You claim you've stuck it, but your body is still leaning forward. And then you, you don't. Webster. You don't step off the rail, but yeah, you Webster. I did that. I used to it all the time. Yeah, so bad. I also don't. I really disagree. I really disagree with back flipping out of sticks now. I think it looks so lame. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't look right. But what like do people? St- are you talking like about if you stick st- and you have stuck it and then you're like back tuck out? I, I think. I think that, the only way that's stupid, but like, I sometimes feel like you I just wouldn't. I wouldn't it. really say that's like. It's just weird for a line because yeah. you're like, oh, I've stuck. I haven't fallen down the thing. But I used it... to do it all the time as well. I, did, I guess I'm just learning. I totally from my get own it errors. if you're just like, it's so like you just... do a nice stick and then you, it's not like you celebrate or anything. You do a nice stick and then you go, you do it back to <laughs> out. And it's like, I totally get it if you're like just doing it for yourself. You've taken it away from the stick. I've, uh, you've yeah, taken yeah, the... yeah. I know that. I know that. Yeah. yeah. If, Which if... is the same thing, I think, with double flips. Some, not just double flips, but in a line, I think you should emphasize the bit that you want to emphasize if there's a massive running pre and you're like i want the people to see the running pre is big if you then land into a front flip to round a double twist yeah i feel yeah, like yeah. the running pre is gonna just look obsolete eh, i mean but what if you do a fucking gargantuan running pre and it's like massive and people can tell yeah. that but then also you're like well i'm such a good athlete that the running pre although huge was fairly easy for me therefore i'm going to do round off triple afterwards like surely then that whole line as a whole is like fair, but I still don't feel fair like play. Like, I mean, but I talk- prefer to watch someone stick it. True. Yeah, yeah, but that's a different mm. thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, you have your Sorry, little guys. Just fucking up my desk. Yeah. You have your little uh, your little swipe swipe right on mm. Instagram. So you're like, guys, here's the first attempt. This is me sticking it, and then here's one where I want to stick a triple on the end, and then here's my mate James. He's funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> I probably watch James. To really be weird, the, you know the really really weird thing, right? Yeah. Is, the vast majority of kind of what we're talking about is like we're like oh we want to see this on instagram because yeah. when you're out oh, training shit, yeah. but when you're out training it's like well george might running pre and stick it and then he'll stick it like five times and then he might do a round off triple but you wouldn't judge it because you're not seeing it in these like bite-sized chunks yeah I, exactly it's really and i'd fucking i'd love to see it in person and you just than... you just chill out and you'd watch the whole session you'd be like wow george is a sick athlete and you wouldn't be that's weird yeah, I just thought really about weird. That. judging it through Judging it through, through the window. Through the internet, yeah. interwebs. Because I guess you didn't see the whole training session of said people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to reiterate the episode two thing of Instagram is not parkour. Like, yeah. Um, I, so the thing I need need to bring up, and this kind of tripped me out a little bit. This guy messaged the other day after listening to the podcast. And I think he asked us to debate this. Or maybe just ask my personal preference. Or, or not, no, not preference. Uh, uh, what is the perfect toe length this was the first question oh this <laughs> this was the first question what was the perfect length of your toes for good precisions yeah and then and then it kind of graduated to like well what do you think the perfect size foot is like what's the ratio and then i was like what the fuck i wonder how much of a thing that is because if you've got like clown feet like 15 foot the 15 foot size 15 clown feet and you're trying yeah. to land a precision i would assume unless you're really in proportion then you've got some like different leverage, tendons, muscles, and things. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're aiming to land on the balls of your feet. Anyone who says you're landing on like Max Barker's a bit of a toenailer for sure, but typically, yeah. you know, I mean, actually, Max is a bit but, scary. I don't. But really he know knows, how he does it's that. not like he's wanting to stick on his toe. He actually has a problem. I think <laughs> no, because he because he says he's right. Re- he's redone sticks because they were too toesy. Whereas, like, if I, if I like, if I was too toesy, I'd be like, taking that one. I won't get better than that. Like, No, but, but Max is... I He prefers a balls of the foot stick. He's not actually going for really, really well, toesy. Well, any... I mean, he's balls just, of your foot is obviously, it. like... I mean, it's the most... It's it's the it's physically the yeah, place to land exactly. a precision. Never, like, arches is not a thing. No, don't I've, I've had an arches. argument with someone really? I, I, some... I won't name. Um, he listens to this podcast. I know he does. We had an argument in NAPC about landing on your arches... Harley Chavel. <laughs> yeah, good old Harley, that guy. That one. Um, but yeah, no, I don't... Uh, uh, essentially, it came down to someone, Harley, saying that, that landing on your arches was acceptable in some regards. Um, 
and I, I mean, can't really remember where it went to. Sometimes I don't notice, like, if I'm oh, going I mean, for a running pre plyo, um, and I guess I've kind it, of landed it on my can. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can obviously pull it off. To you a can degree. pull it off, but it's definitely. But you are not going to get definitely full. not good. If for you're you. doing a plyo off your arches, you're not getting as much leverage than compared to your the, the ball because that's your like. It's yeah. the, it's the perfect point to like roll your foot off the rail or the wall. I definitely. I mean, walls are slightly different because a thick wall when you're plyoing like. I mean, I'd like my toes on the edge, ready for the next plyo. You kind of yeah, that's a weird. But one. also, but if we're talking rails. But but I'm saying before we do that, but when you're doing a plyo, the impact actually isn't all being absorbed into the plyo because you're yeah. continuing to go yeah, yeah yeah it's definitely the landing you'd feel the arches more than the well plyo. that's the thing on a rail like if you proper arch it you're you're not stopping dead but you're fucked <laughs> yeah it's not good it's like splitting your foot in half it's, yeah it's yeah it's well, literally trying to fold your foot killing your momentum yeah um but but so this this conversation was just what is the perfect length and because obviously if you've got yeah if you've got some crazy long foot or if you've got crazy long toes because some people have really long toes. I feel like Max might have long toes. Like, where does that push the ball? Is that weird that it, I've seen Max's feet that much that I'm like, I feel like... I've seen, what size feet have you got? I'm an eight. You're an eight and you're a bit taller than me, whereas I'm a nine. So I, typically yeah. I think the people I speak to, I've got slightly bigger than average feet for my height. I'm like, does that mean that it's easier for me or what? It's a re- like, mm. I bet there's some fucking foot scientist out there. Not Probably, a foot fetish. He, yeah. But like some person who knows their... No, it's a foot fetish scientist. It's just like I've, when they when they put it on Instagram, I was like, "This is dumb," and I was like, "This isn't dumb. This is really actually like interesting in a way." Are you aware that we've like spoken for forty minutes? I know we're killing it because I know Toby. Like Toby's got a quite small feet. Um, Toby Seagar. He does. He's he, got size six like, or f- seven. I think maybe even like f- I want to say five, and that might be. But extreme. so does Max Cave. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Because and. I don't know. It's weird that I know this and I remember this, but it was because DD needed to borrow his shoes for the art of motion. Uh, and DD has tiny feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like Kai, I know has Kai has the same size feet as me because we swap shoes a lot. Yeah. Luke has the same size feet as me. Um, he's size nine. Yeah, size nine. So I think that's quite an average size. Johnston's like, kind of a George is seven. It's weird, you know, people's shoes. Yeah, I think Max is an eight or an eight point five. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, me and Max did used to cram my feet into like a seven. But that's how Toby, I, from what I remember hearing is that Toby essentially like either slowed his feet down or kind of stopped them growing or even like shrunk them a bit just by like he forced himself into small shoes over and over again because he wanted to like... It does work with with actually... Uh, Fuck, I tried it once. I thought I was going to die. No, but, but you know when you're bouldering? Oh, yeah, yeah, bouldering. Personal. But that's what you're going for, that edge. like. Yeah, but I also... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I love no, there definitely is. I, I wouldn't be able to explain it, but there definitely is when you wear a size... A half a size too small when doing parkour. Well, it's like the Frang shoes that I got sent. Yeah. Technically, I think they're an eight and I'm a nine and I've been cramming them in because I want to do this review. But I've known... I've been training lovely. <laughs> yeah, your tech is like <laughs> yeah, yeah, me- yeah. like crazy good. I think that's to do with the small size shoes. If I'm wearing shoes that are... I mean, t- for sure. But why? But for why? For sure, shoes that are too big are fucked. Yeah, but why is the half size too small you can... I definitely land way better in... I think I don't just know because what like is. there is less disconnect between your foot and the shoe because it freaks me out. You like you, you guys feel like training the shoe. like yeah. Some people you you train in some loose shoes. Like I have to have my shoes. Yeah, tight. mine's very loose. And I I think I, I've got wide feet, so therefore I have to tighten them up to like mm. get the closure on the top quite a lot. Oh, I don't but like, I've, doing like that. I've I've been training before, and then like Kai's been like, oh, try these shoes out, and he like slips his shoes off and just gives them to me, I can and do they'll that. be like, it's fine. Yeah, fuck that. And I put his <laughs> shoes on, and we got the same size feet. And it feels like if I just swung my leg, I could kick the shoe off. Oh, really? And I'm like, well, what happens if I, like, ankle thing? Or, like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. really toesy it? The shoe's just popping off. Yeah. Tim I... Champion blew both his shoes off the other day doing an arm jump. Seriously? Like, just, I think it was both. He, like, did an arm jump, and they both just, like, flew off the oh wall. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That, you, I mean, you'd have to peel my... F- but you can't get my shoes off. Yeah. But, but also, I don't... I mean, this is me caring too much about how shit looks. I don't like it when the laces just look really, really narrow. Yeah, so you're like, you're quite like specific about your shoes. Like oh, Keelan really like starts specific. to not like wearing shoes if too many other people are wearing them. I hate it. It's you're, so yeah. annoying. I mean, I'm I've been better with it. Everyone who's asking for the shoes I'm wearing now, I have like told them what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's really like, like, and it Keelan sounds so. I sound like such a dickhead, but I do yeah. like wearing. You've like found shoes that you love, and then everyone else starts wearing them, and, and then I'll be like, and then I'll be like Keelan, the Keelan, like he's like, oh, I need new shoes, and I'm like, cool, what am I buying you? And then he's like. Oh, um, I need to find some new ones because everyone else is wearing these now, and I'm like, fuck's sake! Like, you know what works for you. Like, I yeah, I mean, the shoes I'm wearing right now are, are perfect. Like I'm one going day, one day you'll shoes, have a pro so. model shoe. It'll be called cool, like the Ryan, 
and oh, everyone will be wearing you'll it you'll stop wearing wear it after <laughs> six months <laughs> you'll be like yeah. I have a blue pair instead but also I, I think I'd swap shoes so much because I like trying shoes that no one have tri- has tried before yeah more because like I might find the best parkour shoe ever and no one has found it yet let's and just, then I let's can just be like, swing this quickly very yeah. quickly because this is getting on already yeah but Skill versus style, obviously, we were talking just the physical, but, I mean, we are a clothing brand. By the way, we're a clothing brand. We haven't got much stock at the moment. We've got new shit coming in in a week or two. Mm-hmm. So please all buy that because it does help keep me alive. Um, but... Are you saying, does it have to do with the clothes you wear? Why? I just... it would, Yeah, like, how much of a player a is it? I think, I think it, it, oh, it definitely exists. If there's people who are wearing clothes that I'm like, well, I want to dress like that, then I think no but seriously Damn, you look cool, it's, the same, it's the same as like kids if they uh, see but, someone wearing but I think also if they're maybe if they're doing crazy good movement then you're gonna think the, clo- the clothes look better what if they're wearing like the sick I don't know fucking repping some hardcore supreme and you're like damn you look fly and then they I do like the like scattiest supreme, so. no I'm joking <laughs> like but I mean like does it make them better if they look good that I would argue uh, not so much like they look fucking wicked. They're wearing Actually, an outfit. I don't know. I feel like uh, there's things that maybe Benj has wore that I probably wouldn't say is like I'd wear it. But, but I still think still he sick. looks so good. Like, uh, Yeah, yeah. But there's what, people who can do what, parkour and skinny jeans and make it look really sick. I'm saying like, the, I can't wear skinny jeans. Yeah, well, that's because you're fucking beanstalk. But <laughs> the, yeah, the opposite is like what if they look amazing? Like they are wearing your dream outfit, yeah. but they're shit. Not just shit. They're like then they're shit. They're I, and then I'll, I'll probably stop wearing that outfit. They're, yeah, they're like, like lobbing themselves at doubles yeah. and like getting bodied and yeah. things. Like that doesn't make them. No, no. Okay, actually, wait. That's extreme. That's extreme. Mm. They look really, really good, like yeah. fashion-wise, and kind of they're yeah, they're dripping in swag, <laughs> yeah. moist, um, and they're good, but they're nothing special. Like imagine mm. me. Whoa! I just said I was good. That's weird. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm competent. Yeah. There it is. Dropped it. Um, <laughs> at, but I was like fucking dripping. Yeah. Would it make my would it make my movement better? I've re- if you took I away, think it really depends. I if feel you took like, away the fact that it was me, like, because it would be me. No, but I feel like if you were to wear, like, actually, like, I'm actually being serious right now. I feel like if I saw you wearing, let's say relatively baggy cargos and a baggier t-shirt when you're doing parkour i think maybe i'd watch it and be like oh you look like really sick but you already do look really good but i'm just saying because i think it relates more to me because you're wearing stuff that i like so here it is guys if you want to appeal to certain athletes wear the clothes they like yeah um but that is quite savage because actually the downfall here is that at age 29 if i go out wearing like super baggy clothes and then sarah sees me she's like you look like a, a little boy in big baggy That's clothes fashion, man no it's um, not really that no um she's not that mean to me but it is quite savage because um skaters are in this issue that there's incredibly oh, good skaters i was not aware not... of this until the other day when you showed me what? that clip what clip the guy who was all like fucking what was he you showed we were what talking about? about something. You showed me this clip of this guy who was all like dressed up in like, oh shit, yeah, that's the, yeah. It was like poser skating. It's po- yeah, well, like it's cool pose. I guess like poser skating on their poses. I mean, they are good. They're not brilliant. Yeah. Um, not as good as pro skaters, but because they're wearing such expensive clothes and they look so like loud, as in like what they're wearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. that they get so many views and it attracts all these like kids. It's and like stuff. some guy in like and they look and they look and Supreme over... doing corks, yeah, or like single like, corks, and they're just like yeah. yeah. It's like a skater wearing like the most expensive shoes just to skate in, which is gonna fuck them up, and they'll get so many views. That's and there's pro different. skaters that aren't getting like credit anymore. We're well, not pro skaters, like people who are so much better at them, won't get sponsored because then like. I no, get, one's, no one's going to buy the board that they're going to make. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? I get the controversy thing in the sense that I get like, I get why a video will pop off if you get like the Nike, um, yeah, well, the, ba- is, the Back to the Future shoes that somebody's getting. It, it is in. kind of interesting, but also, but no, I, it's not even interesting. I get it because it's like it's in you. I don't know. You're taking the most rare Yeezy that came out whenever yeah. it was a few years ago, and you thrash it skateboarding. I mm. get that that's going to blow up. I don't think that should mean that like the next Eric Costin loses a sponsorship deal because they're yeah. like, oh, this guy's got more Instagram views. It's like, no, he's a fucking, he's doing single kick flips mm. in his hyped up shoes. Um, I mean, going back to our Instagram rant, any of those people we name dropped 
or anyone yeah. who wants to become a bait Instagrammer, just fucking head down to Supreme, get a load of clothes, like get a nice white, get one of those bogos, the the Supreme bogo, oh, Supreme noise crisp, me so crisp, crisp white, and then do just a parkour roll on some moderately mod like muddy grass, and then you probably pop off and put some. Hey, y'all trap me on my shit. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a SoundCloud rap. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Sad boys. Let's bring oh, it over to the boy. fucking music minute. I think we've ranted for a long... Well, we didn't rant, but... No, I think we did go a bit in and out of this. But This I think, was very I think messy, it's... but also I, I'm hoping that you guys do understand. And maybe you're in your head you've had this conversation I with think yourself. it's just a debate. I don't think you can get to the end of it. There's no, no there's no end of it. And no I think... pot of gold at the end of this room, though. And anyone I've I've mentioned anyway, I think anyone who we've uh, spoken about style or any, they're all very talented anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, I, I feel like there were so many more people we could have also brought into the equation. Like, because uh, something that we didn't, we're fucking gonna just jump back straight into this now. But okay. something that Fuck we it. didn't um, really go into, we st- we definitely stuck more to like. I guess we did quite a lot of parkour, but I mean, yeah, you you were sort of saying all oh, double flips and things, but it's like. Yeah. Kaylin Chan's line, Conge in a pre, kind of pre something down into full in back out. Like if he'd just done a back full at the end of that, it would yeah, not be the clip but that's that not it is. his. But I don't think that's his like style. Do you know what I mean? That's not his. Because if in in a way, that's his style that he's doing those big sort of shit. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. It's big shit things. What is my vocabulary? That's his style in my head. Surely. Yeah, but. Uh, I think it's more what would I prefer to watch. You know but what like, I mean? like, but but I mean, if, if what I think, what I actually think looks cooler, you can't. I don't think you can judge it on like the same person. You know what I mean? But this is the thing. It's a weird it's one. Really hard. It's, it's so weird because it's it's like well, but I love Kaylin Chan's shit. It's, re- it's actually it's, in, incredible, it's and insane. I can't. But it's really hard to um, compare it because then there's someone like Callum and he just doesn't do any, he doesn't do anything similar to Kalen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's, that's, and I think, I mean, that's why this debate is kind of flawed in a way. I can't judge Kalen. And, and it's the beauty Callum of the style, internet right? and, and what we have at our fingertips in the mo- minute where it's like, well, it's yeah. not like you ever have to choose. Like no one's going to hold your gun to your head and be like, Kalen, mm. Benj or Kalen, you can only watch one for the rest of your life. You'd be like, nah. like Kalen might do some of the most gnarly shit. And I'm never allowed to see he it. Might, he might neck it on concrete doing like quad gainer. But you're then never I allowed probably, to see like, it. Then I probably, you shouldn't care about that because it's you who's training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably Maybe just, just be like, fuck it. In and go out or, or just take the opportunity to be like, okay, I'm not allowed to watch either of them and then train more <laughs> instead no, of watching. It's gone to your head, you're dead. Oh, really? You just wrote your life away oh, okay. being snobby. Fair like, enough. Yeah, I don't want to watch parkour. Um, before Any- we do Music Minute, I just want to say... Andy, I used you as an example, but I think you're fucking very, very good. Oh, I don't think you shout on him. Um, No, but I was just saying because of his style is very, like, perfect. I think he, he, every clip he gets is very perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why I was using him as an example compared to someone like the Try Hard Collective Boys, which are very floppy. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fuck, we're going to keep dipping in this. I know, I know. But just to, I mean, yeah. But I say an an ugly style is someone who has floppy arms and looks like they're going to kill themselves every time they do a jump yeah, yeah that's yeah. why i say it's bad anyway carry on well i <laughs> we think need to wrap that up because i could go on for <laughs> we're ages. just gonna keep going back yeah. in in some ways the the uh you don't have to be the most perfect athlete in the world mm. i mean you want to be up there because no one wants scattiness um it just i don't think it works because i think if, if anyone can tell that you are uncontrolled then everything goes out the window yeah like if you see somebody do something and it was sketchy as fuck style and skill are out of the window yeah, like, yeah. you fucked it already uh, that being said I think 95% over 100 can sometimes be more aesthetically pleasing mm-hmm. you know and that's a weird one but like yeah anyway let's let's pull it over to Music Minute and the thing I wanted to say right yeah I am the reason Arcane Roots split up what? I know it's fucking tragic I'm wait, genuinely wait. convinced on this wait why? well because ever wait, since wait I, what do you want about? what do you want about? they split up because of me my favorite band in the world who broke up and it devastated me. They're not my favorite band. What in the and world. they're like favorite band. It in the was last all. Ju- they know in their heads. They're like it's just. I know in my head, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> 
ever since I mentioned them a couple of weeks ago, the yeah. amount of messages I've had of people going like, holy fuck, you put me onto this band. Thank you so much. And they'll still keep going Oh, in. but you're thinking if, if and you did this earlier, then they'll still kept, be going. I kept them secret because we wanted to use curtains in Spitting in the Wind. And then in the end, it was fucking <laughs> blocked. And, we couldn't, and I kept them secret for a year. I mean, I told like close friends and things. But I, all I wanted to do was blast them over Instagram and be like, this band is fucking amazing. Everyone go and check them out. And I didn't because I was so scared <laughs> that somebody would use curtains and they'd fuck it and they'd do like a shit job of it. <sighs> and then we'd use it in Spitting the Wind and everyone would be like, oh, Kayle and Chan used that before. And I'll be like, yeah, but Kayle and Chan, like, it wasn't the same. And I'll be like, Ugh. so I, d- I held it back. I fucking held it back. And then literally it was within weeks, right? We were yeah. editing to it and then they announced they split up. And now I'm telling everyone about them and everyone's going, this is the best band ever. They could have sold out Wembley with the amount of attention I've just given them. Oh, That's complete, absolute bullshit lie. But I'm devastated. No, feel- but, I can, but I understand that I'm a, I'm a you, dick. You actually might not be, if you think of how many people there are in the world, obviously they don't have loads of fans. There could have been a couple of people who are in your oh, same position that were like a, saving a song from Arcane Roots for something. Just a little spark. That's all I could have done. Well, maybe they didn't want to tell people. Because I mean, maybe, like maybe they were like, different. guys, guys, we have to hit 10K followers on Instagram. Otherwise, we're splitting up by this date. And if I'd just yeah. been like, hey, guys, go check out this band, then maybe four people might have gone check them out. 10K followers, they wouldn't have split up. They would have written another <laughs> album. They would have fucking sold out Wembley, taken over the... like. Could have changed the world for them and me because I would have had more music to listen to. Now I just listen to the same three albums over and over, over and over. That's a song. One of the songs. Did. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm more bummed that they just we won't be able to see them live again. Oh, it's fucking fantastic. Because that, but even I at keep... Two Thousand Trees, their um acoustic. It was it says acoustic oh, session, but it wasn't acoustic, was, was it? It was more like that. electronic and it was calm. The weird thing is that's like my sort of ambient style of music mixed with heavy. So that's the perfect yeah, yeah. thing. I, when I was listening to that, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. If anyone hasn't listened to Arcane Roots yet and it isn't into heavy music, they did mm-hmm. a four track EP. Weirdly, it was the last thing they ever released, which yeah. it seems like they broke up so suddenly because they were like still pumping out music. They were talking about writing new yeah. albums, all this. And then suddenly they're like, yeah, we're done. And the, the main guy now lives in Iceland and he is making new music. So if you live in Iceland, uh, no, don't go track him down. That's weird. But... <laughs> Track say, him down and interrogate him. He's got a beard, which a lot of people in Iceland have beards, from what I understand. So, <laughs> I think he's he's, he's got a big, big, big beard. But yeah, that they did an electronic EP, and it was it was outstanding. I really liked that, and the vibe of sitting in the trees. And, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go first because you just mentioned 2000 trees. Yeah, go and on. I can I can segue that, and we got two, one, and we're in. All right, so the band I'm gonna talk about for the music minute is Black Peaks, and they Ooh. are outstanding, as as all my music taste is. Um, we actually saw them last year at 2000 Trees, which was a festival. Me and Kidden were backstage, weirdly enough, and we were like, oh, well, we're going to watch these guys from the back of the stage. And within the first song, they were so fucking good, and we were like, this is the first time both of us seen them. We were like, ah, oh, fuck, how do we get out of this? So we, like, dived <laughs> under the side of this tent and, like, ran round so we could get into the crowd. They are super heavy but also weirdly like diverse kind of music not like lots of electronics or anything in there the lead singer has incredible vocal range from like beautiful like uh, to like heavy heavy shit big breakdowns big riffs such a good band like they've only released like i think either one proper album or two albums now but a little bit politically charged here and there, but just fucking outstanding. So if you're into that kind of music, go listen. I have nailed this minute. Boom. What the hell? That does, I guess it helps that you did start on a... A, a, a round a, minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I was just before I go into mine, <laughs> yeah, just before I go into mine, into my, into my own one, Um, yeah, Black Peaks, I do agree. Very good. Very good. I'm and I forgot about that story because that was... That was so funny. The backstage yeah, yeah. thing was so shit yeah <laughs> we were like oh this will so be cool bad. we're gonna feel important standing back with this yeah we're gonna we're, i'm gonna give you a round minute so we'll keep going yeah, for another we'll keep, 30 we'll seconds going yeah um, we were like standing in the back weren't we yeah but that was actually before i'd even heard i'd heard one of their songs and it was for your 100 for the 100, 100 days. days video yeah yeah and i even thought it was amazing them live but yeah, literally, yeah, yeah and yeah. they hadn't even played the song yet that i knew yeah yeah, but yeah. i was instantly standing there like oh my like yeah. we need to they were very yeah. very good it didn't sound that great from the back anyway no exactly it's just of like oh i'm a vip anyway yeah. you've got eight seconds get ready all right this is this is all me this is all you four three two one and go so i'm going to talk about the flaming lips um i thought this was a much bigger band when i first uh first started listening to them a lot 
but turns out I don't think any of my friends know of them. They are kind of similar to the, all the electronica sort of shit that I'm into. But apparently on Google, they're a rock band. But yeah, they are uh, an American band from Oklahoma, I think it's called. Um, I'm just going to tell you to listen to this one album called Yashimi Battles the Pink Robots. And it sounds very weird, but it is the best story album ever. Even if some of the songs don't have words in it, it's you just look at the title and match it up with what you're hearing. And it is the best thing you've ever you've ever heard. In my opinion, my, I love it so much. But um yeah, there's a diverse sort of range of songs in this album, going from like a lot heavier things to uh, quieter sort of shit. I've have, I've have ruined this, but um, yeah, no, I, I don't really have anything else to say. But I think you sold that a lot better than you did the orb. Yeah, oh or yeah, orbital. I wasn't. Yeah, I, d- I didn't prepare. I, for the I other just want to say I'm just watching Keelan getting very excited there, and if Keelan over this, <laughs> inter- we're still trying to get our mic level. We got two different mics. Here. Oh yeah, mine's going crazy. And on our recording software, Keelan's peaks are literally like smacking the top and bottom every single time, and mine are these tiny little dots. So we've got me like turned up and Keelan turned down considerably, but but it still shows up. So if with... if it's coming in super loud mm. from Keelan, we will get this sorted. And also, I, I think the first episode I like had Keelan too low and then it sounded kind of like you were a little bit in the background yeah but we'll, we'll get there I hope it hasn't been blowing your eardrums mm. I feel um, like I need to revise every every uh no week. that was good I enjoyed that no I, it's I good like... but also I like to uh a lot of the bands I listen to I tend to forget to look them up yeah 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 yeah. do you yeah. know what I mean like yeah. as in like actually know what they're about I just sort of listen and be like that's sick ah, see I'm like that with all not all bands but like any band that I get like no, but a lot of the heavier sort of stuff I do look into a lot more. Like, While She Sleeps. Yeah. No, actually, when I first got into Enshikari, when you first got me into, into Enshikari, yeah. I actually watched a lot of their like interviews and things because I actually wanted to know what they were like individually. I think when you can... Yeah, I, don't, indiv- I don't know why that is, whereas this band... I mean, I have known... I missed this out, but I have known this since I was like before I could talk. <laughs> it's like my dad used to yeah, blare yeah, this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've never thought to even now. I'd, I'd never thought to just look and. But I think up I with... think it's when the lyrics are something you can connect with. Yeah. Then and also there's something like they're uh, tangible, if that's the right word. Yeah. You can you can kind of go in and research like the people who mm-hmm. wrote them. Whereas like if it's just airy fairy lovey dovey stuff, or like in this case more like off yeah, the wacky it, shit. It is, and it's not it's it's, it's not to... political or anything, and it doesn't actually this doesn't relate to me. This, yeah. but it, I really like it. It's a good like piece of art if you want to call oh, it that. yeah yeah but something like i mean i i guess i've never really i don't look up interviews of black peaks that much or i haven't no, really but done also that. I, i'm not like quite down that rabbit hole enough yet no but also i don't feel like any of their lyrics really touch me that touch me but <laughs> oh. whereas when you listen to enshikari or more importantly someone like architects yeah yeah yeah. Then yeah. instantly when i listen to it i'm like wow this either relates I mean, to me or or it's just a story it, like exactly you, it's, it's there's shit going on mm. i think it takes for some bands and i guess it's the same with like i don't know a parkour team it takes yeah. time to develop those like that develop those stories mm-hmm. in a way um i mean black peaks a lot of their music is is yeah quite politically charged but i think also it's a little bit more like metaphorical and things so yeah. it's not necessarily you're not like oh this is clearly talking about like one of their songs has a load of references to um the kind of refugee situation and like bodies washing up on beaches in greece and stuff oh, really and, yeah you're way better it, at reading lyrics than me with heavier stuff but yeah i think I can... <laughs> it sounds weird but i feel like you've got more practice at it because sometimes it's hard to el- initially hear yeah yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. Saying. and so i haven't yeah watched a huge amount of interviews and things with them but when i hear stuff like that i'm like okay these guys are like switched on they're trying to because yeah. i was thinking about this the other day like i think another reason why i do like a lot of the heavier music is when it is kind of not necessarily political but when it is standing up for something is mm. it it's like you've got a fucking platform you've got tens hundreds millions of people listening to you if you're not using that platform to try and like not necessarily just educate but like to voice things that you strongly believe in yeah and this goes the other way i mean there was what uh bob the rapper who fucking came out and said the world was flat which he was one of these this was years ago did he do that he was the guy he was the guy i remember him when bob came out and said the world was flat that was when tim sheaf got onto flat world no way because he tim tim's always been that guy who will kind of like he'll always look to like back up the person who's being Mm. not attacked but you know what i mean like so everyone's hating and he's like oh i'm gonna look into the other side of this yeah unfortunately he didn't then look into the other side of the flat world (laughs) or flat earth thing which was yeah but um 
but then but things like that but so it's like if you've got a platform why yeah. the fuck are you just doing airy fairy like oh i love you i mean maybe you do fucking but it's no, i don't know ed sheeran's a prime example he makes yeah. continuous love songs about fake like relationships that don't exist whereas some of ed sheeran's older stuff that was like about his kind of rise to fame and struggles and blah 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 uh, if he, t- I mean, he's. I, f- I think he's in a fairly serious. He might even be fucking married now. I don't know. Mm. Like, if he made an entire album that was just about like I don't know, his fame. I read an interview with him actually a while uh, when his last album came out. I think, and he had like crazy social anxiety because like he obviously got famous so fast, and he had to like mm. he was in Ibiza I think on some trip, and he had like an emergency flight home because of some flammy thing. And he had to get on an EasyJet flight. It was the only flight home. And he was the, on his own on this EasyJet flight. And it was like he'd blown up by this point. And he was surrounded by like lads. Oh. And it fucked him up. He was like super traumatized. He didn't leave his house for months. Because like he was basically bullied for like three hours. If he wrote a song about that kind of shit. And like his actual real girlfriend and how much yeah. he loves her. Rather than like, oh, I'm going to do an Irish song that sounds Irish to get all the Irish fans on board yeah. about a girl. And then I'm going to do a song about this girl that sounds like Taylor Swift. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck that. It's, like, like, it's the easy option. And also it's just, it's just boring. I did actually, uh, around that same time, I read something that he was like, this album's going to be my best selling. Like my last album was my best seller. My next album's going to be my best seller. And then my album after that's not going to sell nearly as well. Yeah. And I think it's because he like plans to go back to the real shit kind of thing mm-hmm. um, but I don't know oh, that's that's based off of a couple of articles yeah. but I think if it's uh, a band that doesn't I mean I guess they're not called a band but they don't put any lyrics out anyway you can still have this sort of you can have the type of band that puts out shit that's very clubby music that I actually don't like that's very like there's nothing I can connect with there yeah no exactly whereas the stuff that I listen to is actually a lot different to that. Yeah. Some of them might, if you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you th- at first glance, sometimes you're like, uh, that it does sound quite similar to some of the songs. But I think it's more a lot of the songs I listen to is quite linked to meditation. It's mm, that yeah, type yeah, of thing yeah, when yeah. you're listening to it without even trying to meditate. You're in that state, yeah, which I really like. Um, where some people they just yeah, clubbing club music is very. And I think a lot of music that isn't lyric based is for you to kind of associate like in the long run with it is going to be linked to situations like yeah. it, at times like if i don't know if we did the america tour and all we were listening to was house music yeah we'd probably be like now we'd probably listen to it and be like fuck i remember driving through colorado oh uh, yeah so like, it's like a memory yeah but for me it's like well i'm not i'm never going to listen to house music just in the in the situation like no. i'm not going to be driving in in down the country lanes listening mm. to house but then um, like arcane roots i like some of their songs where it's got long sections of they no are, vocals this is one of the few Bands. Driving in the desert, yeah, 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 I mean? yeah, 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 because that crosses over to my sort of breed of things. Yes. And you're sitting there, and it's almost like you're zoning out, and it's creating a picture, yeah, <laughs> that, like that. And you're like, oh my god, like everything it, yeah. fits, the whole world has come together. You're like, fuck. Um, I love that. I love that. The weird thing about Arcane Roots actually is they're a band that I'm not even that fucking I've been to some I've been we've got so many of their shows and yeah. some, of the, some of the lyrics I'm like I have no idea what they're fucking but saying but it's beautiful yeah, it's like, <laughs> but it's so good yeah. And, and and yeah to be fair I haven't looked at that many of their interviews and stuff mm. I've watched him play guitar a lot which is crazy because I don't play guitar but I'll just go and watch that guy just like it's because he's insanely finger, good finger some strings and I'm like oh yeah <laughs> yeah um but but yeah, I think that's a, a fucking music minute always turns into a music ten minutes of just because I fucking love music. I know it's oh just drive. I mean I dro- drove for about fifteen minutes today, about thirty maybe. Yeah, and just it's a oh, bliss. It's such a treat to drive. To drive if there was no music in a car, it would be so. I shit. forgot my adapter the other day, and I just drive <laughs> for like half an hour. And no, I just like CDs, had one CD. CDs. Yeah, I have one CD. But it is it's one like CD. it's music is just the sickest. And actually, this I was thinking about this right. Mm. I can listen to a band or a song many, 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 many times in a considerably short period of time, i.e. like over the course of a month, I could listen to the same song, not over and over, no, but if but it's in a playlist, it'll it up. Not. Yeah. Parkour videos, I can watch over and over to a degree. Yeah. But I don't know, like uh, uh, Cavemen, like they're all of the Cavemen, incredible videos, but I've probably only watched each one a couple of times. Yeah, it's not... I could not tell you start to finish every element of that thing like I could with song lyrics. Mm. And I, I was trying to work out why. Like, is that because you maybe interpret interpret the song? Differently it's almost like yeah, there isn't. To. And I guess it's it's only in your ears. And I think we're very good as at humans as operating 
we can have music going and like it can just be in the background or it's not even in the background it can be blasting but like we can still function whereas to do video you have to watch sit, you sit down and you're then inside it and it's telling you what it's like if, if yeah if, if somebody told me to watch cavemen as many times as i'd listen to like certain arcane root songs i'd be like fuck that like it would kind of yeah. drain me of like energy in a way yeah um I think even so. if it was as sporadic as the songs i'd listen to if mm. it was like cool you listen to that song 30 times in the last six months mm. and then it was like watch cavemen 2 30 times in the next six months i mean that doesn't sound that bad i probably wouldn't be sick of it but like it it's i don't think i'd ever do it if you know what I no mean. I, I don't think i would either yeah i'd just get bored anyway um what we were meant to do is a live stream but my i kind of realized this at the start of this thing is that we need to <laughs> we, we won't do it on this one because i feel like i we need didn't to, even realize yeah that we, we need that. to we're, we're standing at opera, opposite ends of a desk at the moment we'd kind of need to set it up Ready. We'll have, to, we'll have, to, have yeah. to think about this. So maybe live stream on the next one. We'll work mm-hmm. it out. Somebody did. Su- I mean, we've had fucking so many suggestions. We've had so many comments and feedback and some really th- yeah. sick things. Some stuff that we can't do immediately, like get getting guests on and, and things like this. So if you've got any guest requests, like let us know. Um, but one guy was like, "Oh, it'd be cool if you did a thing similar to Music Minute and you gave like a shout out to an athlete, like." Just, oh yeah that's why i've written there is athlete attention yeah i didn't know what that meant well i like alliteration i, I was trying to think of a name athlete attention i mean it's a, that's a shit name obviously but music minute i like the alliteration yeah um you can't no, do we, athlete move a minute move a minute our, our mover of the minute um but i don't th- for this i reckon do we have to time it oh no no, no i don't no. think we should time it i just it's I th- hard enough with the music minute no no, no it's I, actually a pain doing it in a minute, i but think because it has called that it has to be yeah yeah i think each uh i just like the uh did you ever listen to no you wouldn't have done because you're not fucking as old as me why what like my dad there is there used to be a program called i think it was called just a minute and comedians would go on there and they would have to talk about a subject mm. for a minute yeah and they cannot use the same word more than once oh not no even i, I think the, i do know not even uh and it's fucking. And there used to be a comedian on That's there. That's difficult. Yeah, yeah. There used to be a comedian on there called Tony Hawk, and he's an English guy. And for years, I thought it was a skater because <laughs> I'd be like a young kid, like, and my dad would be listening to this in the car. Yeah. And they'll be like, "Okay, Keelan, you have to talk about pineapples." Three, two, one. And you go, "I like pineapples because they are." Um, oh, you can't say um. You can't. Uh, so you can't pause. And the second what? you say like uh twice or the, they buzz you, and then you're done. That's and, difficult. And you get these guys and they fucking nail it. And it's really? so, it's so impressive. You're, I, you're actually going to have to show me this so mu- Music Minute to that degree would be insane. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, I like this song because it's an amazing song. Blah, fuck. Yeah. But anyway, athletes, uh, I, I, I don't know if this will be a consistent thing because I think it's, it's hard to be consistent with it because I don't want to be giving yeah. shout outs to like I don't want to be dra- going through you get it. drained and you're like oh, I've already shouted out this person and I think like, it should oh, be this just really good. I think pr- we probably can um, I think we just blast it when we see it we blast it when we see it but say if we see someone twice doing something do you know what I mean I feel like a friendly reminder is always good as well I, I think let's just try and use this as a bit of a platform to be like a but like say if like guys you need to go and check out this person yeah so whoever requested that I can't remember who it was like we're not gonna it sounds sounds like we're not gonna do what you asked, but I think le- I think if we personally between us try and agree that like we will, yeah, give shine some spotlights where we can. Um, yeah. Weirdly enough, the one guy I was gonna share today has he had two posts on his Instagram, just literally two, and now he's only got one. Oh, he's deleted one. Yeah, apparently so. I'm not, sure, not sure why. Who yeah, I mean, is this, who is this geezer? Uh, Seth crazy. Wang. Davis shared him last night. Seth Wang. Seth Wang. He's the guy doing that rapid descent. Oh, yeah. That's sick. He looks like he's Colorado-based. I Mm -hmm. feel like I've maybe met him when we've been out there, but I'm so fucking bad with faces and names. He is doing a descent. Is this... I could be completely wrong here. This might not even be Colorado. No, it is. I think it is It looks very much like Colorado. Because I've seen people hit that same Yeah, yeah. He's doing a descent and it looks sped up, but it's not. Like I'm almost Mm. 100% certain it's not, but he looks so controlled. Um, so it's underscore Seth S E T H and then Wang, what a fucking name! Um, I had a chemistry teacher called Mister Wang, and he got <laughs> bullied. I love when me. teachers get bullied. <laughs> no, I don't. But um, poor guy. He, his caption is, "I should probably post some stuff every so often, so you know I'm not dead." <laughs> but I guess maybe he deletes posts, which is a strange one. 
But I mean, some people, especially there's a lot of Colorado guys who just like don't care about posting. They're just in it for training. I'm just picking my nose. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, right. No one can I see think... you, Keelan. No one watches the podcast. No, so now you'll know. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's a good thing. Satchel, so. Satchel uh, from Try Hard was like, he just he, he, I don't even know if he has an Instagram, but he barely ever, ever posted if he did. And okay. he's an absolute it's, beast. I guess it's like humbling to know that he's just in for, oh, that's not that humble. He's just in for he's in it for himself yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he just likes he d- he's not well this is the fucked up thing right? show people he d- you he remember when care. he bailed the armax double yeah and everyone i've g- never seen him before well this is the thing everyone mm. gave him shit including myself and i and i got like i gave him you shit. Got shit for that well i gave him shit fairly hard and for some reason like a lot of people kind of you know it's like and it, one comment on instagram gets picked up and then lots of people respond to it kind of thing yeah. and then suddenly it's like oh shit and i feel fucking bad um he did do it nice afterwards well, as well. Well, this is the thing. In my head, I was like, well, no one... I didn't know, like, no one knew who he was. No. And also, and the first thing you see of him is a bail, and him, like, slap the concrete, and then he goes, like, fuck yeah, and then does it again. Yeah. So everyone, including myself, was like, you're a sketchy motherfucking guy. Yeah. And then all the Colorado guys reached out to me, and they were like, no, seriously, he's not sketchy. Like, just nobody sees him train. Mm. And I was like, okay, fair play. And it was, it's, I mean, it's one of those things. It's like, I'm not going to go back and delete a comment because that makes me look like a no, scumbag. Don't, yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, I definitely jumped the gun there because, yeah, I've you seen assumed. him. Yeah, yeah, never assume. My mum always says it. I've now said it to Keelan. Yeah. Um. Yeah, never, never assume, really. But he's, yeah, I've seen him in person now and he's, yeah, competent. Nice again, guy. To drop that. He, yeah. Well, I mean, he's just, he's just proficient, totally, totally proficient. But yeah, he's, with flips and parkour, yeah, though, he's yeah, actually yeah. really good. And it's that lack of posting that kind of like fucks up people's perception of you yeah but um, uh, <laughs> so satchel i don't know if he has instagram but if if he does have an instagram go hunt him out because he's a solid guy I feel like maybe he just doesn't want anything to do with parkour uh job wise or anything i mean it's not that's not the reason why everyone posts but uh maybe he's just happy training in colorado <laughs> yeah yeah he did like uh I remember Brandon telling me he did like three six five of of training, and I think he filmed every clip. But he just maybe put it on YouTube, but he just like didn't blast it on it. He could have been putting out dailies on Instagram, mm. kind of thing. Um, but yeah, no. Anyway, well, that was that was kind of my my shout out for athletes. Yeah. Have you got anyone? Uh, I don't know his net. You, I've we both looked at this guy. Oh, the guy. It, As in I the feel master like of skill and skill style. Yeah, Fuck I feel me. like he's called. Imseet, I M S E E T or I N S. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging Try it. Try it. Just got a text from my mum about Theresa May. That's basically all she talks about now. Nice. I am. Um, but this guy is really springy, isn't he? Oh, uh, I'm Seat. Okay, here we go. So his name, I think, is just Seat. S E E T. But his yeah. Instagram is I M and then S E E T. And he's just hit 10k followers. Really? And I'm gonna follow him back because apparently I wasn't on my personal. Oh one. no. He is. He. Fuck the me. king of style and skill. <laughs> oh. Because he, he's just, I think it's to do with he looks quite small as well, maybe, but also... Yeah, I mean, he's got a good, like, body type. For... I feel like maybe, because if you watch, I watched some of his old videos on his Instagram, and he's wearing baggy trousers. Oh, and really? I feel like he was trying to, not trying to, but he had a very similar style to Foskey. And he's now from, he's stopped, yeah, he's from Italy. Yeah, and now he's stopped wearing the baggy trousers, so I guess you don't really make the re- the relation. He's just, he's just, but, he's so he seems so well-rounded he's yeah. poppy he's flowy like he's got one of those springy styles mm. so he's yeah what is it i i m s e e t nothing else that's his name on instagram but f- yeah fucking hell i mean he is the the perfect combination of style and skill mm. like keelan shared his stuff with me and i was like how the fuck have i not seen this guy before? yeah same like, i always feel bad like because i like to think that i've got a fairly good like grasp on who's like popping in the community yeah and then i fi- like some people like I, I see someone like that and i'm like i feel I feel like I'm failing at what I consider myself good at. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. That brings um, us back to like, if none of that was on Instagram, was on YouTube, it still probably would have been hard to find. But yeah, I think, I feel I like think it would have popped off I mean, a bit Instagram more. Instagram is, that's the thing that like, Instagram undeniably is easier for is sharing. It's yeah. quicker to just be like, hey, check this 15 second clip of this guy and like you can share one clip with me and I can be like, oh, he's good. But I wish I could have watched that uh, I could go back and like watch a whole video of his instead yeah, of trying yeah, to like, hunt yeah, for yeah. his Instagram for like a one clip I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but go back a few episodes if you want to hear us talk about that. Is that like last <laughs> episode or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. um, yeah, I, mean, I think that I mean Keelan Keelan opened this episode, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and wrap it up. I opened. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> I yeah, the the support so far has been has been 
incredible, really. I mean, it's just, sh- is it nine o'clock? What the fuck? No. Oh, it's late. We need to watch a film. No. Got to go to London tomorrow. Um, the support so far has been outstanding. I've been people saying that we bounced off of each other really well, and that <laughs> loads of people like listening and and everything. And we've had multiple five star reviews on on iTunes, so please keep that up. I think I th- obviously when you start a podcast, you get a bit of hype in the early days, and then it starts to kind of trickle off. So the thing I would ask is that anyone who is listening to this just take a second out, like share it on your story, share it with your mates, whatever. Like the more attention we get, the kind of it's slightly more. No, is it? I was zoned out. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what was yeah, going on. Yeah, I got distracted there because he was staring. Yeah, I was staring. It's it's it's. it's more, is it more of an incentive for us to carry on? Yes, but I think also it's fucking fun at the moment, and we're getting some really good like yeah. chats out of it. So it's not like we're going to stop if you stop well, listening. I didn't expect there to be much response at all, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, but we're we're really enjoying this, especially while we're kind of working on on home stuff and edits and things because it's an easy thing to just get it's done. Like, and, it's like having a break, but you're still producing you're something. Still knackering your brain. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, but yeah, so thank you for everything and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, everything, share it with your friends and, and new clothes are coming very, very soon. I'm getting, and also any of the essential stuff apart from the, no, in fact, any of the essential stuff is never being restocked. I'm every day getting messages going, when's this being restocked? And I'm like, I've been saying for weeks, it's not getting restocked. Mm. So all the essential stuff is being sold. We've got new essentials coming literally in the next week or two. Need to obviously get them and then shoot photos and everything like that. Uh, and then Soul Destroyer will be the big boy summer collection. Wham, bam, in your fucking jar of jam. I'm, <laughs> in jar of jam. I'm excited for this. Yeah, for yeah. these clothes. Um, but any support with the clothing and stuff is, is fucking insanely appreciated. Even if you don't like the clothes, just buy them, cut them up, give them to your dog, whatever. Pin them on your wall. Like Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, it it all helps keep everything afloat and keep everything going. Ah uh, yeah. Um, and yeah, we got some cool shit coming up. I'm not sure what we're going to cover in the next few episodes, but we've we'll, got a long list. We've got a long list. Uh huh. So we'll keep this train rolling. If you keep hitting that heart button on Instagram, where we <laughs> don't post podcasts, but yeah. All yeah. Right. Are uh, we outro jingling? Oh fuck. Are we oh. outro jingling yeah. or are we? Jangling. No, are we... Jout I mean, it's whether or not I just edit it in at the end. Yes. Or are we going to leave it blank and then it's just a case of like, guys, you need to make us fucking more jingles. We need an intro and an outro jingle. Am I making a new... Well, okay. My... The one... The, the, the voiceover clip from the last episode is the one we're using for the intro jingle. You're now, in the next... Sort of, in a few seconds, you're going to okay. make what... So anyone listening to this, if you want to make an outro jingle, so I guess you need to say thank you or something. Like, okay. but the this you look like you're about to fucking blast <laughs> down the microphone. Do not shout, my neighbour's next door. Uh, no, I sorry, I live in a detached house with a many acres of land. Um, this this is going to be your audio for the outro jangle. Jangle. <laughs> Thank you for watching this podcast. Share this shit with your friends. Subscribe. Leave a rating and a comment, please. Fuck off, you knob. Of course he's sucking. He said watch. Oh, but that's the that that's this podcast. All right, fair play. It has to be watched. If it's not watched, then it's not this podcast. Yeah, okay. All right, love you, bye. <laughs> oh, I'm excited now, because then I get my own one. Oh, is it still going? Well, I didn't. I, I was waiting for you to say bye. I said love you, bye. you got to say love you back. Um, nah. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah. Welcome to the Motors Podcast. Podcast. A podcast. A podcast. A podcast. A podcast.